told to make a documentary on the music industry which starred myself, I probably, like everyone else in my class, winced at the thought of being on camera. But here I am, and after doing a lot of thinking about music in the 21st century, I decided to focus on how music was current and stylish, and how who's on top of the chart correlates with who's performing at one of the top festivals of the summer, V Festival in Chelmsford. I'm also really interested in how CD retailer companies keep updated with what sort and style of music is current and popular, seeing as we're now in a really highly digital age. There are two topics to my documentary. One of which I just mentioned, which is how CD retailers present who they think are the sound of the summer and whether these same artists are presented at V Festival. Yeah! Topic number two. I'm also interested in how these artists present themselves on their album covers and in their advertising and whether this correlates with how they look in real life. I'm also interested in finding out specific artists' target audiences and whether this is stereotypical of the style and genre of music they're producing. So what happens now? How about we go down to a well-known retailer and see how they present the people that should be top of the charts and how they present their unique selling points. Are you ready? Okay, let's go! I'm here at HMV and you can tell just by looking at the shop who they believe will be the fans of the summer by who they're advertising in the spotlight. If you look around, everything is categorised in order for the customer to be able to easily find what style and genre they prefer. Here we see that Ed Sheeran's at the top of the chart. I wonder if we'll see his face at the festival. I'm going to focus on Ed Sheeran, who seems very popular. HMV. Let's have a quick recap of what I've discovered so far. In relation to topic number one, which revolved mainly around my visit to HMV, I can say that as Ed Sheeran was listed as top of the charts, HMV got it pretty bang on about who was up and coming and I'm pretty sure we'll see him at V. In answer to topic number two, Ed presents himself really differently on his album cover in relation to his old organic style of music. This topic remains unanswered as we'll have to wait and see how he presents himself at V Festival. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's pop over to V Festival to see if my research and discoveries have all been worthwhile. Ready? Let's go! Hi guys, I'm here at V Festival. Let's have a look around, shall we? <laughs> In relation to what I said at HMV, you can tell Ed has a really strong fan base. As you can hear, all of his fans know the words to all of his songs, even the less well known ones. <laughs> this clip, 
We can sort of tell what Ed's target audience is, which is 16 to 25 female and surprisingly male. I would say this is a fairly stereotypical target audience for someone in the pop slash indie genre. So we've established an answer to topic number two. Ed does not present himself on stage in the same way that his album cover would suggest. I'm assuming that this is because he's an organic artist and feels he needs to be himself, therefore making decisions like an album cover and clothing because he wants to, not because he thinks it will fit his image. And because he already has a fan base, this is okay. Yeah! This, I think, proves that Ed has made it in the music industry because he wears what he wants, in this case at V, a check shirt and jeans, and presents himself how he wants to, even if it doesn't correlate with the music style. This is because he already has millions of people listening to his music despite all of this. In conclusion, with topic one, it has been proven that CD retailer companies remain pretty up to date with what's up and coming, as they highlighted Ed Sheeran way before he appeared at V Festival. In conclusion with topic two, I think this remained pretty inconclusive, as I only studied one artist and he actually opposed the stereotype. <laughs> the way he was advertised and the way he presented himself on his album cover did not correlate at all with the way he presented himself in real life. Well, that's it guys. I hope this documentary helped and brought some insight into the music industry through retailers and festivals. Thank you for watching!